my purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play pokemon x i'm purple rodri last time we made our way through victory road and arrived here in the pokemon league in today's episode we're finally gonna make our way inside and we're gonna take on the first elite four member now look how beautiful this place is it looks like a great great huge castle and we're about to make our way inside but before we go any further i have trained our pokemon i have trained up our team and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the level ups Fox is 65, Saltar is 64, Zula is 66, Rio is 66, Marms is 65, and Nessie is 64. Now let's go over and look some of the stats and those sorts of things. As you can see, I've actually gone ahead and taught Fox Fire Blast, Psychic, Sunny Day, and Flamethrower with the, uh, the item, the Cleanse Tag. For Saltar, we have Steel Wing, Flame Charge, Brave Bird, and Fly with a Yaki Berry. For Zula, we have Hydro Pump, Surf, Skull Bash, and Ice Beam with the Blast Knight. For Rio, we have Close Combat, Swords Dance, Aura Sphere, and Dragon Pulse with the Lucario Knight. For Smarms, we have Draco Meteor, Earthquake, Crunch, and Head Smash with the King's Rock. For Nessie, we have Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, and Hyper Beam with the Lucky Egg so we can gain a little bit more XP. So with that, our team is very well prepared, ready to take on the Elite Four. So let's our make our way inside then and see what awaits us. It feels like it's been a long time coming to make our way inside of here, but it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit different than other little Elite Four chambers from what I can tell. And it looks like it's kind of like a Hall of Fame looking area. I see a lot of portraits. Is something going on here? Where exactly is it that we get to battle the Elite Four? Is this it? Whoa, what is this? It almost looks like a church to me. Kind of strange, and there seems to be someone here. You're the illustrious Rodri, are you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I'm one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed Big Bad Team Flare. Whoa, so it looks like we already met the first Elite Four member. And if it sounds right... I kind of want to go take her on. It seems like she challenged us a little bit. So I'm going to head inside here because this is, I think, where she went. We have made it to the Blazing Chamber, which I'm assuming is hers since she said that she's a Fire-type trainer. Now, for our Fire-types, you guys know we're going to go ahead and set up Zula up in front. Nope, not Nessie. Zula up in front. And uh, let's hope for the best then. I think Zula is very well trained. And I think Zula will do a good job. So are you guys ready? I'm a little bit nervous for this. Uh, I know Kalos has been a crazy region for us. And let's just hope that we can take on their mighty Elite Four. So let's make our way inside then. And whoa, where is this taking us? Oh my gosh, if this was a sky fight, a sky battle, that would be absolutely insane. Like if all of a sudden we're having like a sky battle, that would be crazy amazing. We have made it into the flaming chamber. Oh man, kind of reminds me of Avatar. If, you've, if you guys have ever seen like um, the, the Fire Lord's like chamber and the two big fire things burning, it kind of looks like that. So let's make our way up then and challenge this first Elite Four member. Welcome, Challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva, and I shall be your opponent today. Here we go, Rodri versus Elite Four Malva here in the blazing chamber. Let's go ahead and take on Kalos' first Elite Four. We are challenged by Elite Four Malva. She's going to open up with Pyroar, and I feel confident sending out Zula. Let's see what she's got. I'm, I'm nervous. But honestly, I think we have it. She only has four Pokemon, which actually surprises me a little bit. Uh, I, I was expecting her to have six. Uh, maybe they're just going to be a lot stronger than um, than we would expect. I'm going to go for the Blastoinite. Let's let's go ahead and Mega Evolve. I feel like if I can Mega Evolve quite a bit, land the Surf's and the Hydro Pump nicely with Zula, I think we might even be able to sweep her at this point. I didn't really know what level the Pokemon were going to be. I just know that... I needed to train a lot, and that's kind of what I've done. Is she roaring us out? Okay. I was about to say, if she roared us out right now, I'd be like, nah. Like, there's no way. With that, we've... Oh my goodness, we almost took down the Pyroar. You know, I'm kind of nervous now. She kind of lowered our attack, uh, but it's okay. Maybe... We'll, yep, there goes the full restore. I should have gone with the Hydro Pump, but it's all right. I'm just a little bit nervous in this battle. You know, it's a Kalos Elite Four. I've never done these Elite before, before. Like, I honestly know pretty much nothing about them. So, um, I'm just nervous going into it. Wow, okay, so we've wasted her two full restores. And if I'm correct, she should only have two. I don't expect her to have any more than that, honestly. Uh, and if she does, that's just going to be kind of strange. Now, for now, I'm going to go for the Skull Bash then. Might as well give ourselves some defense. 
going up into that final uh, or the next fight because it seems like our attacks um, have been weakened quite a bit. It's only four Pokemon though, which um, makes me a little bit happier. It makes me realize like, hey, you know, we might be looking good going into this. All right, let's land the Skull Bash then. That's going to take down Pyroar. And we're moving on to Malva's next Pokemon. Okay, so that's one down. Woo! Not bad. We gained a level. We grew to level 67 too. Wow, we are a little overpowered, I would say. Nessie grew to level 65 as well. Uh, wants to learn Blizzard. Wow, okay. Should we forget a move for Blizzard? Ooh, this is a tough call. Blizzard is really, really strong. It's 110, but the only problem is that it misses a lot. I think I'm actually going to learn it um, instead of Hyper Beam, just because I feel like, ah, uh, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to learn it. I'm not going to learn it. Um, I'm not going to trust it. We're going to keep a Hyper Beam because you never know. So for now, we're going to forget it. We're going to forget it. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to keep our old moves, I meant to say. Keep our old moves. No, no, we're not. We're Keep old moves. And with that, yes, we're giving up on Blizzard. Maybe in the future, if we ever need it, we'll learn it. But for now, we're going to continue on. All right, Talonflame's coming out. That's fine. We have ourselves a Talonflame, too. So it's kind of cool that we're going up against one. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I don't think the Talonflame will be too much trouble to us. The Flame Bird might do something, but we're also a little powered up with the defense. And we're a pretty strong water type, so I don't see us getting KO'd. Oh, my gosh, Zula barely even got touched there. Okay, that should take down the Talonflame. Oh, come on! These Pokemon are holding on by, like, the verge of their skin. They're literally just getting red barred by Zula right now. Flame Bird looks amazing. Uh, Flame Bird looks amazing, though. Definitely glad we, ta we taught it to our Talonflame. With that, we took down Talonflame. Uh, and I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure her first Pokemon was 63. This one was 65. So does that mean that was her strongest Pokemon? It looks like Saltar. I guess, oh, you know, taking down a, a flame dude also gained a level. All right, here comes Torkoal. Wow, I haven't seen Torkoal in a long time. That is a, that is a not too familiar face. Torkoals, man. Haven't seen those Pokemon ever. All right, super effective. Earthquake, though. Wait, that's not going to do much, right? Correct, correct. Zula, the beast, the tank, the legend, standing up in the blazing chamber. And we're about to sweep Malva. All right, Malva. Let's see who her last Pokemon is then. This is easy for us. We are just doing too much work here. Last but not least is going to be Chandelure. And you know what? We do have a Hydro Pump. I'm kind of feeling good. Let's go. We, we missed. Really? We're going to miss the Hydro Pump? No way. It took us down. Awesome. We missed the freaking Hydro Pump. Great. All right, who am I going to send out next? Um, you know, it is the Flaming Chamber. I guess I could technically send out Saltar. Uh, who should I send out? Fox, Smarms. Let's send out Smarms. Let's send out Smarms. Um, I don't think I don't think we'll get manhandled too much by the Chandelure. So we'll send out Smarms. I'm going to go for the Head Smash, though. Yeah, I could also go for the Draco Meteor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I also had... Ah, oh, screw it, man. I had, like, Crunch... I should have used that on the ghost type. It probably would have done a lot of crazy stuff. Let's go for the crunch then. Maybe we can put some good damage on it. Come on, Smarms. Look, I know you got the little arms and you might get a little confused once in a while. But can you please pull it together with that? Super effective. And we have hit a crit. Sorry, Malva. We got really lucky there. We gained a ton of XP. We defeated Elite Four Malva. One new. So a new challenges has defeated Malva of Elite Four. We received 13,000 for winning. Awesome! So with that too, Nessie is evolving. I would expect it to. It's been what, like 65 something levels? And uh, you know, off screen? Good, here we have it. I did want Nessie to evolve before we really started pounding on the Elite Four. So with that, it looks like we are finally gonna have our six Pokemon fully evolved. And with that, our team is officially completed. So there we have it, guys. Congratulations, our Nessie evolved into Aurorus. Sweet, Aurorus. Looks cool. It looks, it looks like the Loch Ness Monster now. Uh, really looks amazing, and I'm glad to have it on our team. Fantastic! Utterly fantastic! I'll report to all the world the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I am a Holocaster star, after all. Heh, I'm such a busy woman. Three more members of the Elite Four stand between you and the champion. Take that elevator there to return to the main hall if you're ready for them. Okay, guys, so with that, we have defeated Elite Four Malva. And it seems like we're on our way out of here. Let's go ahead and hop on the elevator then, which should take us back to the main chamber or her chamber, this chamber. All right, her weird-looking blazing chamber. Let's go ahead and get out of here then. This is a this is a big run 
I'm not gonna lie, this chamber is good. I'm kind of getting a workout here, getting a little bit exhausted from running around. Wait, am I back at the main gate? Yes, I am. Okay, guys, so we're back at the center, and next time we will continue on and take on the next Elite Four member. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. One Elite Four member down, three more to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Great job, Zula and Smarms. You really pulled it together.